You have fraction strips. Yours are a little bit smaller, about this size. I'm using bigger fraction strips so you can see very clearly what I'm doing. Grab one of your fraction strips and hold it horizontally. And now we're going to take this fraction strip and fold it in half vertically so that there is a vertical line running down the middle, just like this. Look around, check that everybody has this in your room. I have some questions for you. How many equal parts have we created? That's right, there are two equal parts. Two halves make a whole. What fraction of the whole is just this part here from the left side to the center? What fraction is that? Tell your partner. That's right, it's one half. So the length of this piece right here is one half. The length of this piece then is also one half. Two halves make up a whole. Now if you would take a minute and draw a line down the middle here to show where our fold is. And then also label this as one half and this piece as one half. I'll pause the video to give you a few seconds. Hopefully you've had enough time to finish. Your fraction strip should look a little bit like mine, hopefully nicer. There's a line down the middle. There's one half, one half, two halves. This is the whole. I'd like you to do the same thing, much like you might have done in the fourth grade. This time I'd like you to create thirds, fourths, and fifths. I'd like you to make the lines where the separations are and also label each piece as its given length. You can pause the video for about three minutes. Hopefully you have fraction strips that are all made up for thirds, fourths, and fifths. We will use these at another point, but for right now, let's go back to using our halves, our fraction strips with the halves on it. What I'd like you to do is take your fraction strip and use it as a ruler on your dry erase board. We're going to make a number line. So watch me first, and then you'll do the same thing. Go a little bit longer than the length of your fraction strip. And use your fraction strip to locate the middle and the ends. Now at the middle, what would we call the middle of this? That's right, one half. W at this end, it's zero. To edit. At the w right end, it's one. To edit the What's another name for zero in our number dogs. line? Create. In this case, it's zero halves. What's then another name for one on this number line? One whole is two halves. So please make sure you have yours labeled like mine is. Now we're going to practice making some equivalent fractions. Underneath your number line, if you would, let's draw a square. In that square, I want you to partition it in the middle, again, like you did with your fraction strip. And let's shade it in on the left side to show that this is one half. We know where that is on the number line. It's right here at one half. But what were to happen if we drew another square the same way, but this time we partitioned it through the center horizontally. Hmm. Is this still one half? How many pieces are shaded? Two pieces are shaded out of how many total? Four. We partitioned this into two more pieces. So one times two is two, two times two is four. We've doubled everything. Is this equivalent? Is two fourths equivalent to one half? Sure, it would go here on the number line. Take a few minutes with your partner and draw as many squares as you can and create equivalent fractions. Sorry. Oh, you know what? I'm done. I can be done. 
I didn't I'm I didn't so reserve sorry. it. No, 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 it's fine. I'm like, who is she? I'm <laughs> she's really I'm lost like, it. No, I'm using Screencastify. Oh, Screencastify. Yeah. Um, guys, you're going to no, sit down there. My I, fault. I don't want you talking. No, absolutely not. Damn, you you know, are. can you tell me why you're here? Me and Jimmy were in the I remember. Other. I want to know you do. Yeah, why are you here? He's me and Jamie. We grabbed each other by the arms and we started pushing each other. Okay, so this is 